Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Skill Set Go. In the last video, we have seen what is auto wide annotation and how to inject an object using auto wide annotation in Spring framework. So, in this video, we will see what is qualifier annotation, how it can be used. So, qualifier annotation is mostly used when there is interface and there are implemented objects, and we can inject any implemented object using a qualifier. So, the best example for the qualifier annotation is car and engine. So let's create a car class and engine class with interface. So first let's create an engine interface, new interface, engine, finish. Let's have a function start engine. And let's have an implemented classes for this engine interface like petrol engine and diesel engine. Let's create a class petrol engine. So this implements engine interface. So we need to implement the methods from the interface. Here you can write sys out petrol engine started so in the same way we can create one more implemented class like diesel engine so implement engine Let's have a function, an implemented function. Give us this out diesel engine started. So we have created an interface of engine and we have created two objects. Now let's have a car class. And here let's have a name and engine object. And let's have getter setter methods. Generate. So now you can see this is a common interface engine so for this engine reference we can either assign an object of petrol engine or diesel engine so we are going to assign these objects using a qualifier annotation so first let's have a function start engine so inside this using this engine variable we will call its method start engine so here in this method we will know which class it is called whether the petrol engine or the diesel engine based on the object assigned to this engine so first so here let's remove the previous or comment the previous examples and let's get a car object using the context Context dot get bean. We want car class. Here we will get a car object and let's call the function start engine. So from the container we will get a car object. So if you are not mentioning it as at component, then Spring Framework won't create an instance of car. So here we will get an object of car and as soon as we call the start engine this function will be called and inside this the engines method will be called. So in order to call this method we need to assign an engine object for this. So in previous video we have learned if we assign an auto wide annotation 
automatically it will fetch the object of engine and it will assign to this so before that we need to mention its classes as component so let's go to petrol engine and let's mention it as add component and diesel engine also let's mention it as component so here the expectation is the object should be assigned to this engine let's run this project and see whether it runs or it gives any errors so we have got an error saying field engine in car required a single bean but two were found diesel engine and petrol engine so the meaning is here we have mentioned a interface type so the container will create a petrol engine and diesel engine object and keeps in the container and it will search any engine type in the container and it found two types petrol engine and diesel engine so here let's go to the car here we need to mention what type of engine we need so here yet qualifier annotation comes into the picture we can specify the type of the object or the name of the bean so by default spring container creates an object of petrol engine with the name petrol engine all small letters and here also by default spring framework creates an object of diesel engine with the name diesel engine all small letters so first let's assign a petrol engine to this car using qualifier we can specify name we need petrol engine object now let's see whether we get petrol engine started as output or not now run again so as you can see petrol engine started the program runs successfully because we have mentioned we need petrol engine for this engine object so suppose let's ch let's change this name to some other name and let's try whether it will work or not petrol engine one and try to run it so we have got an error bean type that could not be found because spring framework creates petrol engine with the name petrol engine not any other name so we need to give a proper name let's run this we will get petrol engine started so suppose we want to assign a diesel engine let's change to diesel engine and let's run it so here you can see diesel engine started so the main advantage here is without changing the engine object we are getting the required object either diesel engine or petrol engine so here as soon as we mention component spring container will create a object with the name petrol engine we can mention we want an object with the name some other name like petrol engine name and here also we can mention we want diesel engine name now the spring container creates the object with this name not with the name of the class and now if you run this class we will get an error because there is no object with this bean let's run this so we have got an error there is no bean type diesel engine could not be found because we are telling to spring create an object with this name but we are accessing with the other name here if you specify the right name we will get the correct output here you can see 
diesel engine started. So this is the main advantage of qualifier. This is mainly used for the interface and implemented classes. I hope you like this video and understood what is qualifier and where exactly it can be used. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos or more tutorials on the Spring Boot. Thank you for watching.